Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew an inner seam pocket. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. Now this is a project that I'm working on at the moment. I just want you to ignore this for a minute and what I'm actually going to be showing you is underneath this. Now this is what you call an in seam pocket here and the reason being the pocket is in the seam. Now this is the, this is the shape of the in seam pocket and along here I've just kind of put a crease line there. This is where it's going to be sewn onto the actual seam and this is going to be the shape of the pocket or what you call the bag. Now I've got my pocket on the garment and you have to make sure it's on the right side, okay? So this is going to be the right side. I'm just going to mark it with some tailor's chalk and the pocket also has to be on the right side. So therefore you've got right side to right side and then I'm going to sew um, the actual pocket itself on the seam line of the garment and I'm going to be using a uh, one centimetre and I believe that's three eighths of an inch. Now this is the stage we need to get to. I'm going to show you how to do this on the sewing machine. So once I've actually sewn it to the seam allowance of the actual garment, just pretend for now that this is a garment, I'm going to sew it for a second time where it's going to be on the right side of the pocket and this is just to keep it in place. Right. I'm now going to be sewing the pocket to the seam allowance of the garment. So just pretend this is the garment. I remember it's the right side of the garment and the right side of the pocket. pocket so right side to right side. I'm going to be doing a one centimetre seam allowance. My feet down, needle down. And I think that's about, that's about three eighths of an eighth, three eighths of an inch, I believe. And start sewing. Um, put my pins out. Don't. So I'll be pins. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend you actually do that. And then just gonna fit it. Right. Remember, we're only doing one centimeter, five eighths of an inch. And this is just to position the pocket within the seam allowance. And I'll add this there. Okay. And then once I've done that, it's a case of then. Which you don't necessarily have to do, but I prefer to do it, is you pull the pocket away from the garment and I'm going to edge stitch. So I'm going to do another row of stitching and this is edge stitching, so it's quite close to the seam line. to um, give it a much more smoother finish and it stops the pocket from riding to the front of the garment. So it kind of sets it I suppose would be the word I'll use. Back tap and that's done. Now that looks like the one that I showed you previously. Just get rid of all those loose threads. And there we are. So I'm now going to put that together with the one that I showed you earlier. Okay, this is a pocket I've just sewn and here's the one that I'm going to partner up with the one I've just sewn. Making sure you're matching all your pattern markings and then I'm going to pin that into place. So I'm going to put a pin here and and if you wish you, you know you can baste or if you call it tacking you can tack just make sure you get it all your points matching and this one there and i'll put one more down here right now i'm not going to base and baste or tack whatever you wish to call it I'm just going to make sure I remove my pins as I sew up with the machine. Now I'm going to be coming along here, around the pocket, here and down and I'll show you how that's done. I'm now actually going to be doing a 1.5cm seam allowance and I believe that's 5 eighths of an inch. 
So I'm matching that up here with my plate here. And needle down and a few stitches forward, back stitch, and continue so. Right. Now you want to make sure that it's roughly about 1.5 centimeters when you actually stop at that point there and you pull your lever up, needle down, turn your work, put down, and then continue sewing. So there isn't a break in sewing whatsoever, it's, it's just a straightforward process. And then just slowly squirt your way around, removing your needles as you go, do the do that. So that can get a nice smooth. And remember, if you do want to base your work, I would recommend you do that, especially if you are a beginner. Alright, I'm going to get the needle down so that I've got more of a straight point in which to work at. Come away over there. Remember, we're going to pass this row of stitching here, and I would use the hand wheel just to make sure I'm going to do that. That's about there. Roll down and and down so as you can see it's just one operation and then remove work remove that pin at the top cut my threads and there you have your inseam pocket I'm working with a plain seam so in order to get the seam to lie correctly and so you can go and iron it just clip quite close to the stitching and then open up your seam there and there and then that's ready to be pressed my little sample on my dolly my body form that's what I call it I call it dolly and um, here we have it now it's an, as I said it's an inseam pocket and it's a hidden pocket basically that's what it is that's what you want to give is the fact that you won't be able to tell it's actual pocket even though you can see all my black um, <laughs> stitching there that's only for demonstration purposes but this is what you get this beautiful line here and if I just turn it a little bit there, you can see how nice and smooth it is. It's actually a hidden or invisible kind of pocket. And then I'll just take my ring off and then be able to put your hand inside. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you found this um, inseam pocket useful. And if you have any questions, do put them in my comment box below and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Colleen Dooley and I'll see you in my next video.